Nick Gallo, OKCThunder.com. Uh, Lou, just describe the, the cutting, the passing, the, the catch and shoot looks, all, all the opportunities you all were able to generate as a team tonight. Uh, well, we knew how they was going to guard us tonight. You know, they, they scramble a lot and they, they double a lot. So we knew that we had to cut and find windows to get open. And that's what we did. How, how encouraging is it, exciting is it to be able to I guess adapt to all that. The second, starting the second quarter, I think you guys were like three to one assists to turnovers um, after how aggressive they were to start the game. Uh, I mean, that's, that's, that was just a scouting report. We just knew what was coming. And, you know, we just did a good job moving, moving the ball and then, you know, getting open shots. Paris Lawson, OKCThunder.com. Lou, I've, I've asked you about Eugene before and just the energy that he brings out there on the floor, but on a night like tonight where he hasn't been with you guys for mm. a couple of days, just what's it like seeing a guy like that two-way player go out there and have the night he had? Uh, I mean, Eugene is a dog, and like we expect Eugene to do that every night, you know, just play hard and bring a lot of energy. And like just looking at myself when I was a two-way a couple years ago, like that's, that's how I approach every opportunity I had. So I know that's how he's going to approach everything. So, you know, I'm just happy for him. Andrew Select of The Athletic. Lou, you've been getting some early corner threes. Is that like a point of emphasis for you early on in games, or is that just what the defense is giving you? I feel like it's just the defense. What the defense is giving me, um, I know I'm a pretty good corner threes, and you know I just got to be ready anytime it comes. But uh, I felt like it was just the way to re- the we were just reading the defense. Obviously, a couple of shots go in early for you. Good to see those go in. Feel good. But also, you hit the boards pretty hard tonight. Seven boards on that. Was that something by design, or just kind of they kind of fell to you, and that energy just sort of brought it? Oh, uh, it was just it was just aggressive. The whole team. And uh, I was just crashing, and we was just shooting a lot of threes, and we, I just knew that the ball was, that if we miss, it's going to be a long rebound. So I was just going in there and trying to get some extra possessions. Lou, uh, repping Montreal, is that intentional on a night against Toronto? Of course. <laughs> of course, yeah. I mean, Montreal, that's where I grew up, and I will always represent them. And our football team actually playing Toronto in a couple of days, so I just had to represent. Nice. Yeah. I wanted to follow up on the question about Eugene. Have you guys... Have you talked to him about sort of your similar path as a two-way player and just like that high-effort defensive guy? Yeah, I mean, we we spent a lot of we spent quite, quite some time this this past summer and and we just talked about everything and you know I just told him what what my experience you know coming in as a two-way and then I told him he has a great chance out here and and they, they I know they love the way he plays and that energy he brings so hopefully you know you know he just keep doing that. Lou, uh, we talked a little bit before the game, but uh, just for the people, <laughs> how excited were you to see Canada qualify? And, and you had a lot of time in camp mm-hmm. with, you know, uh, Phil and Tommy Scrub and Trey, you know, Trey Bell Haynes yeah. and you know Kenny Cher- Sherry and these guys. Mm-hmm. Like and they carried them last night. What yeah. does it mean to you to see those guys get the job done? I was I'm really happy. You no, know, one of my dog Kenny Cherry was was actually playing last night, and uh, you know he's like a big brother to me. And uh, it's just big, you know. We work so hard to, to, to now to get to qualify, and it's just good. I'm a little pissed off that I couldn't play this past summer just because I was hurt. But uh, you know, I'm just happy to, to see them do well last night, and I can't wait to, to, to go and represent Canada in, in the World Cup. And if I could ask you about Shea. I mean, this summer you saw him really lock in defensively, and 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 you know his offense was there, obviously. But have you kind of seen a bit of a carryover from? You know the defensive effort he was giving in those summer window games, and and what he's shown so often, so often this season. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Shea, Shea is a leader in any team he will be on, and he just led that that team. And the way he did see the third best player guard, you just got to do it yourself. So just to see Shea do it, you know, his teammates has no chance to do it. So that's just how he leads, and and he's getting better at that. Appreciate it. Lou, uh, what'd you think of the City Edition jerseys tonight? Oh, they were great. They were nice. They were nice. Uh, I didn't really see them before, but uh, I was I was shocked when I seen the picture coming out uh, last night. But they were great, man. We looked good on it. In it, so it was nice. Yeah. Nick Gallo, OKCThunder.com. Uh, Eugene, the, the offense 
got a lot of attention tonight, but what did you have to do defensively against that group um, to be able to get out and run and, and have that pace and tempo the way that you did? Yeah, just bring my physicality is what me and Coach spoke about before the game and just coming out and playing hard. Uh, when I play hard, a lot of good things happen, so that's what I did today. And then how about team-wise and just scheme-wise? What were you able to get to as a unit on both sides of the ball tonight? Just keep moving the ball. Keep moving the ball and trusting in the next man, and I feel like we did that very well. And like you, like you can tell by the score, it really helped us out tonight. Jerry Ramsey, the franchise. One night you're uh, playing against Santa Cruz. The other night you're checking up with uh, the Raptors. Just talk about your journey. I mean, just so early in your career, you know, going back and forth and whatever. Yeah, it's, it's been a different journey for me, but um, I'm loving it every step of the way. Um, it's a long journey, but it doesn't happen overnight, and um, I just got to keep staying ready, and that's what I keep doing. Myron Patton Fox, uh, looked like you guys had a real good rhythm just kind of playing off each other, cutting and – I don't know if that's by design or if you just got to have a good feel for each other, but it looked like especially the second quarter, you guys were playing off each other really well. Yeah, just us coming us coming as a unit and um, like us trusting each other. Um, like I said, every everybody on this team, we're all a big friend group, and we trust in one another to make a play or to make the shot, So and that's what we did when we came out here tonight. Eugene, kind of as a follow-up to that, you were um, – the scoring was so balanced. You were the leading scorer with 22 points. I, I'm wondering, like, did you even realize that in the moment when you made that last three? Yeah, I don't. I don't really look at the score. I don't really look at the how much I have. Or I, don't, I don't feed into that. I just want to come out and play hard and do whatever my team needs me to, and which is what I did tonight. And growing up in Toronto, did this one mean anything more to you to sort of have that performance against? Yeah, the it definitely Raptors? meant a little more. Uh, me and Delano Banton grew up in the same neighborhood. Um, we came from the same place, and it's our journeys were different, but we both end up in NBA together, so it's, it's a very special moment for me and him. Were, were you guys able to catch up before or after the game? Yeah, but yesterday we caught up, we, we hung out, and I love him. That's my brother, and um, I always have his back. I know you always got my back. Thanks, uh, Michael Grange from Toronto. Eugene, uh, the um, is the Thunder kind of a comfortable organization for you? I mean, you and Lou have the Air Orangeville prep uh, yeah. connection, and obviously Shea's a you know local guy. Um, yeah. I mean, does, does it is it kind of nice to have some people around that you kind of share your background yeah, it with? Makes it, it makes it it makes the transition very easy for me. And um, as soon as I got here, they really they really took me in and really helped me out with a lot of stuff. And I appreciate them, those guys and. They keep they keep helping me through it, so it's it's been fantastic. I love you. And uh, you had some moments guarding Fred. I mean, I'm sure you watched him plenty. Yeah, <laughs> back yeah, in yeah. Going up in Toronto, yeah, we see we see them a few times. Yeah. Have you uh, does that kind of stuff? Are you kind of used to that sort of stuff yet? Or is I'm, it? I'm like I said, I play basketball and I, I come out every night to compete. And um, I don't really care who's out there. I just want to compete at the highest level. Thank you. Anything else? Thanks, Eugene. Thank you. Thank you.